Hello YouTube, HPZ are here today and uh, I've got a small mini review for you and uh, we're going to be taking a look at the Retro Pocket Games Handheld Super Compact Size. Uh, that's a very long uh, product name isn't it? Nonetheless, uh, basically I just came back from a long weekend, uh, I spent some time in Margate with the folks. That will be Margate KZN, not the UK Margate. And they had these at Musica. And they were pretty cheap. It was 200 Rand for one of these, so that's about $15. In pound terms, I think that's about 90p odd, so nonetheless, very, very cheap. Well, probably like 80p, but nonetheless. You guys get the idea, you get the estimate. Uh, taxes and stuff, of course, will make it a bit different. And uh, let me first start off by saying never in my life did I think that retro gaming is going to become mainstream. That you're going to see these sort of things on a counter on your way out at a music shop. Uh, I mean, uh, seeing a music shop is rare enough as it is. So Africa only has one major chain left called Musica. Everything else has died out. But nonetheless, here we are today and we've got this product made by bearproducts.com um, please visit that website and let me know if there's anything else there that looks interesting uh, who knows maybe I can get some sort of sponsorship deal from these guys but I doubt it so uh, what drew me to this is this design this is very similar to uh, I think it was one of the Mario Nintendo Game & Watch sets the classic one that everyone knows it has this exact design and I can really tell from the the actual box, I'm not going to like these buttons because they're individual, it, it's not a d-pad. But I guess the d-pad is, is uh, copyrighted into someone. Uh, at the bottom there you can see there's a BS number. Uh, I hope it doesn't stand for bullshit. But who knows. <laughs> anyway, if, if we've got this and... Uh, yeah, let, let's have a look. It claims to have 158 bit games. Normally, if it says 8 bit games, I'm expecting Famiclone and stuff. Now, I did snip the side just to make sure that everything is in here. And as we bought this, the lady at the till was like, Be sure to get batteries. It won't work without batteries, it doesn't come with any. So, yeah, of course, I got the best batteries a man can for one of these sort of things. It's uh, Everready called Plus. Uh, these are basically zinc batteries. So, if this thing upsets me for any reason, I'll just keep these batteries in there for three or four months. It'll start leaking and it'll destroy it. Slow and painful death. So, nonetheless, but yeah, that was there. So, here's the actual unit, and you can already see quality wise, there's like bubbles in the metal. The metal isn't flat all the way, I can actually like move that piece there with my hand okay, that's there, is there a manual? so we have the the manual here retro pocket games, installing the batteries and uh, battery precautions uh, do not attempt insert batteries, use do not short circuit, do not mix. Always remove exhausted batteries from the product. <laughs> oh, and here's another thing. Do not mix all the new, do not mix different types, such as alkaline standard and carbon zinc and rechargeable and stuff. <laughs> well, uh, there's a little troubleshooting. I'm sure you guys will tell me all the sorts of... Uh, English on that manual. I can't really read it from this distance, but yeah, here's the actual unit and this thing. That's that's bad. I mean, they didn't stick that down. It doesn't have that little protective sheet. It looks like. Let's see. No, it doesn't have the protective sheet. So that that's really poor quality. And for two hundred rand, what can you expect? So it's oh, yeah, of course going to be one of those right let's luckily I had the foresight to have a screwdriver on the ready because cheap products generally always have a screw and not a clip for the battery compartments for some reason 
So let me get my super quality batteries. That'll totally, these are the best batteries for these sort of devices. Anyone that tells you otherwise, they just got too much money that they want to waste on electronics. Oh uh, yeah, zinc carbon. You can feel the quality. These batteries don't weigh anything. I think the packaging weighs more than the batteries. So there's my batteries. So the reason we're doing a little quick uh, this is going to be a quick review and not a full review is because I've got several videos that still need editing I've already shot them but I just got back home like yesterday so I've got so much to do so little time so okay that's in okay A, B is a play button Okay, you. Okay, so I'm going to be playing this through the LCD screen. So, uh, excuse the bad gameplay. Gameplay. Okay, so dinosaur war, honey Mary. Just listen to that quality music. I mean. Quality right there. I must admit the screen is extremely clear. So we already have like tank attack has been listed twice. Impossible murder bomb sweeper. Is that Bomberman? Uh, it's uh Okay, A and B doesn't do anything. This is start. You can mute it. There we go. Loud volume, low volume, low volume, and then reset is on top. So already, I don't think this is a duck thief. It's not a snes clown. Okay, so uh, so you have to like pick up. Okay, so you have to like maneuver the duck to pick up the eggs. That's a bit of a puzzle game. I guess that's not too bad. I mean, if if you're off brain dead, that, that's a decent game. That uh, we're gonna do this. Okay, this, this, there. So then you have to go back like that. So I noticed these games so far they don't give you like a score. Yeah, no scores, so that kind of makes it difficult. So this one like that. So I have to like go down to the middle there. But the problem is you have to get to the middle of that one. Okay, and nonetheless, it, that's that's a terrible game. Let's try some of the first games because seriously these have to be good. Matchstick Man. Oh, that's those. You remember those GIFs you used to get? Uh, or flash animations of the little. Oh, okay. It's like Mortal Kombat with matchsticks. That's cool. That's fairly cool actually. Okay, uh, let's try some other stuff. I, I want to get like at least one Famicom game here. Tank War. Oh, it's a little side scroller. Both buttons do the same thing. Oh, and there I'm dead. So you've got a half bar on top there. Uh -huh.
Come on. Let's see if there's a... Oh, Raiden! Uh, this is not the Raiden I know. That's for sure. And what's interesting, this actually started off directly instead of viewing the menu or anything like that. So there's a clear screen, so it's a bit of a shmup. Um, I wouldn't say it's a good shmup, the sprites are too big. There's not enough room on the screen. And it's way too slow. Okay, so that sucks. Bird bombs, fruit skewer, racing motor, beware cross, sea wolf. Is that the sea wolf? No, it's not. I mean, if this thing had family clone games on here, that would have been absolutely great for like the money. But unfortunately, it doesn't. It has these really bland, self made games. Uh... So where is it one that said tank? See, so there's another tank attack. So I want to see if this is... Okay, so this is actually a different game. But once again, it's this sort of... Is that Link? Oh, Legend of Zelda. Oh, crap. Uh, Nintendo is going to copyright strike my, my video now. I hope not. But, yeah, that was stolen. Um, so they could steal that, but they couldn't, like, steal the ROMs for some reason. Uh, guys, if you see anything that you want me to revisit on here... Colony Wars, it's another awesome game, but I promise you it's not that. Colony Wars wasn't for um, these arcade adults. So, um, yeah, that's, that's crap. So basically, uh, games, I, I thought these were going to have like Famiclone games on there. It doesn't, it does real rubbish on there. So, um, I don't think it needs to be destroyed though. I'm going to take the batteries out and keep those. In case we want to revisit this at the later stage. But what I will do is I notice it has four screws at the bottom there. So it should be easy to get into. So LCD is very, very nice. Um, if this was a Famiclone, that would have been awesome. Uh, it's not though. But for 200 bucks, it keeps you entertained for 5 or 10 minutes. I think it's worth it these days. No, it's a terrible investment. Okay, so that pops out and then just comes loose. And that's hard soldered in. Can I take the actual PCB out here? screen is like fantastic. If they use the screen for something else it would have been great. That's the whole thing. So you have your buttons there, you have this LCD panel that looks like a stock part. And then a blob chip and a little EEPROM. And that's probably 2 meg ROM. Let's move that away so you guys can see there. So, yeah, little crystal for the, for the clock. Uh, zero ohm resistor. Absolutely nothing I can see here that, that blows me away. Uh, this CPU is a blob chip. So this could have been a Famiclone that they just repurposed. It doesn't uh, surprise me. It probably is. But yeah, that's what it looks like inside. 
Not bad. Anyway, so I'm at the stage where I have to rate this uh, thing and has ga retro gaming gone mainstream? No, not yet. I'll rate this thing uh, 4 bananas out of 5 eggs. 